Now, you also figured out that storytelling mm -hmm. is important. Yes. And, like, you know, it started with the success of uh, girls yeah. and parents to understand. But later in the career, in your career, Will is like, you saw my blinker. Yeah. And <laughs> all times, all times, like, I got a story for everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think you got stories yeah. for days. He does. I was listening to one of your records, and uh, it was like every song was at that in that era. It was like, yo, it's just spending a day with Will. I woke up, it's 8 o'clock, yep. my shoes on, yep. having breakfast. It's like... <laughs> we listen nonstop when we're doing research. So I was listening and I'm like, I feel like I could be a rapper with Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> just like, talk about your day. Just talk about my day. Yeah, that's just it. Talk about your day. Um, parents just don't understand really, really captured that the most. Mm -hmm. And it became, in my view, that vision of that, that song, that video, that's what led to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yes. Have you ever seen Parks and Recreation episode where Le Leslie Note goes into it? I didn't see it, but I heard about it. It's amazing. First of all, Parks and Recreation yes. is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. So I've seen every episode. So somebody comes in and is like, okay, here's the situation. And then she goes into the whole <laughs> verse. And every, no one in the office knows what she's talking about. And she and she's like, y'all don't know parents you don't understand? Wow. So yeah, that was great. Um... You had $500 in your pocket when y'all won the Grammy for that. Mm. Yeah. What was that like? A reality check. Mm. A reality check. Um I was I was I was the one in the group that common I I am a very common sense type person. If it makes sense, I'm good. And I think one of the early things that really bothered me is kind of like, okay, you know, we 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 signed this big deal with Jive Records, we're, we're, we're on a label now. And I go home and I tell my mom, mom, we did it, we signed a record label, and my mom says, wow, that's great. How much are you getting paid? Mm. And I'm like, hold up. Mm. So I go back and I'm like, listen, you know, I know when I cut my man's grass, he says, I'm gonna give you $50. I know I'm getting $50. I know if I'm making $50 an hour, if I work two hours, I'm gonna make $100. You just told me that I'm getting paid seven points. Mm -hmm. How much is a point? Right. And you're like, well, it could mean a lot of different mm. things. Well, it could be this and it could be that. And I'm kind of like, well, why is this shit so difficult? How much is the point? And the third time that you ask, he's a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. How did I get to be a troublemaker when I'm just trying to tell my mom how much money I'm making at my job? The only person that would say that is somebody with something to hide. That part. So it was like, mm -hmm. something's not right. And mm -hmm. I knew something wasn't right. You always hear the whispers, you know, because now I'm asking other artists. I'm asking, you know, people that I feel should have, you know, the credibility mm -hmm. and no one can give me that answer. Mm. And I'm just like, this is wild. Like, you know, so to have that and be in something for five, six years there's a level of me looking in the mirror like, yo, I got a job and I have no idea right. how much money I'm getting paid. And I'm looking around at everybody like, oh, oh, is everybody cool with this? Right. Right. Like, because right. I don't want to be the the guy like you're you're the troublemaker. Mm -hmm. Like, right. if everybody's cool with this, OK, maybe I'm tripping. And they're recouping everything, right? So you're flying oh, around, staying in hotels, and they're like, that's coming out of your All money. of that. That's what they want you to feel like. They want you to feel like you're being a troublemaker so you don't ask what oh, you no. do. no, listen, I have science that out. You know, going all the way back to Playlist, that was one of the reasons why we did it. It's mm -hmm. kind of like th there, there has to be a better ecosystem. You right. cannot tell me that this is the way that this has to go. I don't care how long it's been, how many people have done it. None of this shit makes sense. You know, and then I started out as an artist, you know, and it's kind of like, okay, I got six points as an artist. I got three points as a producer, but I don't make any money off as a producer unless the artist makes his money. So that turns out to be, you know, I'm doing all of these big records and I get a front end and never get the back end. Never get it. You know, and then you start a production company because all I'm trying to do Every level that I stepped up, I'm just trying to get to the dollars. Yep. Yeah. I want to get out of the points and I want to get to the dollars. Yeah. And now I got a production company that we're making 12 points, but you got to give Jill her nine and the producers. And now I got people that are asking me questions. When are we getting paid? Mm. And I'm like, shit, this is the same question that I'm asking them. Yeah. Right. So now I'm the middle guy. Because now I'm on the phone, like, everybody's looking at me, like, when are we getting paid? And I would always kind of explain, you know, how it went. But it was just, you know, there's we don't understand why sometimes we get a back end, sometimes we don't get a back end. Yeah. 
It's done on purpose. It's, uh, yeah. Yassine mm-hmm. was on a show and he described it perfectly. He called it Bugs Bunny math. It's one for you, one, yes. two for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One for you, one, two, three for me. And it's colonial. Yeah. And it's it's based on the slave trade. Yeah. And it's based on taking advantage of people's labor. Yeah. That's what it's based on. Yeah. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knock it, then young nigga move that dough. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow away. What's the